New Zealand Adventure, Part 2. Episode, Hunting for Enormous Red Stag, Fallow Deer, Tar, and Chamois. The hunt is on. This morning's hunt hasn't turned out to be as successful as we'd hoped. However, as the hunting ground is only a short distance from Duncan's Lodge, we can enjoy an excellent lunch. We have been out in the hunting grounds for several hours this afternoon and have seen a lot of game, but unfortunately not the right stag. Until finally, we get this old warrior in our sights. Josef, the always reliable boss of Westfalia Jagdreisen, once again organized everything perfectly, just as we expected. Marcus, one of our stalking guides, was able to spot this massive stag from above. We can only guess how big it really is, as we could only see a part of the antlers. But soon we will know for sure. The shooting position is found. The preparations for the shot can begin. Oh, the target is, is on the opposite slope, behind a group of trees, at a distance of about 650 meters. But he is not in plain sight here either. The minutes pass like hours, while the stag is behind cover. We can hardly wait until the big stag moves out into the open. Time, Amon Amon is in position and in his element. The wind direction is identified and the rifle is still being fine-tuned. The tension is huge. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Kill our Tina. Er muss umfallen. Ja, noch einer. The other one was also good. The record-breaking hunter once again shows nerves of steel and keeps his cool. A perfect hit knocks our target to the ground. Amon, Amon in Aktion. When we reach the kill, we realize just how big this stag is. But as they say, pictures are worth a thousand words. Schau, wie die Lichter eingefallen sind bei dem. Das habe ich auch noch nie so gesehen. Ganz ausgehöhlt schon. Ja. Das ist ohne Worte eigentlich. Since we were able to hunt the red stag we were looking for on today's third stalk, Amon Amon naturally seizes the opportunity to hunt fallow deer. 
Marcus was able to spot an unusual fallow deer with an extra paddle in a group behind a small ridge in the terrain. For the moment, unfortunately, it is hidden from view. But we have decided to try our luck on this abnormal specimen. Suddenly he is in front of us, albeit much closer than expected. Now it will surely make another quick move. And already he's on the run. Will our hunter still be able to take his chance? Amon Amon also passes this difficult shooting test with flying colors. Good hunting. Joseph gives us a short overview of what we've already experienced in New Zealand and of the next exciting hunts. We have ja two super erotic legen können and a Damhirsch. Today we have a short pause and fly to the Gebirge with a Mubschrauber here, that is before us, Alpine helicopters. We fly to the Gebirge and try to get ja to the Tal. And after the Taljagd, we go to the next Gebiet. Und wir wollen mal einen guten Gams kriegen. Ich hoffe, das Wetter scheint ja gut zu sein. Ich hoffe, dass wir bald mal ein Zeil haben. Und äh, Amon Amon ist ja sowieso ein Top-Schütze. Der kann ja auch weitere Distanz auch zu lang, dass die Pirschgänge vielleicht nicht allzu lang sind. Aber trotzdem eine sehr sportliche Jagd. Bei der Jagd wird kein Hubschrauber eingesetzt. Da wird ausschließlich nur gepirscht. Und äh, ja, da wünsche ich dem Amon Amon eine erfolgreiche, schöne Jagd und ein kräftiges Weidmannsheil. Weidmannsheil, super. Klaus, und du machst einen guten Film. Perfekt. Wie Westfalia Jagdreisen. Genau, dann gehen wir es an. Weidmannsheil. Ja. After about 40 minutes in the air, we reach our hunting ground. In this area, we have already seen several tar, so we decide to get out at the next opportunity and continue stalking. Shortly before landing, Amon Amon can spot another tar. It appears to be a buck. The tension could not be higher. Disembarkation from the helicopter is imminent.
we try to find a good spot to set up. All we have to do is cross this high alpine pasture quickly to potentially cut off the route taken by the tar sighted shortly before landing. We look for it, but unfortunately don't catch sight of it. Where could he have gone? Does it make sense to stalk him? Now we need good advice, but suddenly things take an unexpected turn. Marcus spots a huge tar right in front of us. Our hunter immediately gets into position. The exciting tar hunt ends with another perfect hit and a spectacular fall, fortunately without any damage to the trophy. In New Zealand, retrieving the game is quite different. Here they simply use a helicopter, and that means we can shoot this spectacular footage. We are right on schedule. It is just after 8 o'clock and the chamois area is only 20 minutes away by helicopter. The chamois hunt, however, proves to be much more difficult. We do manage to spot quite a few deer, but they are mostly just herds of deer or bucks that are simply not old enough. After we have been stalking in this area for several hours without success, we decide to switch areas again by helicopter. Our helicopter pilot has everything well under control. With such a great pilot, we're in good hands, and that makes the hunt twice as much fun. On this stalk, we finally managed to get close to a strong chamois buck. 
our hunter takes advantage of the natural surroundings and finds a convenient shooting position on this rocky outcrop. The only problem is that the chamois buck has already spotted us and is fleeing. Now we have to work quickly and precisely once again. Okay. Ich bin drauf. Fast shooting, man. With this hunt over, and after an extensive photo session in this breathtaking scenery, it's back to the accommodation for an excellent meal.